If you want to book more carpet cleaning jobs, then stick around and watch the rest of this video. I'm Ruben with bookcleaningjobs.com and we help carpet cleaners book more jobs. And if you watched part one of my local service ads masterclass, then you'll remember that we covered a lot of the basics already. Uh, as a reminder, we covered some things like what are local service ads? Where do they even show up on Google? How much do local service ads cost? And how do I get qualified for Google Guarantee? So if you missed any of that in the first masterclass video for local service ads, go back and watch that. I also shared with you at the end of that video, some of my best tips for booking more jobs with local service ads. So in this video today, in part two, I wanna put some of these tips into practice. And so to do that, we're gonna head over to a verified local service ads account so I can show you what I'm talking about in an actual account. So let's head over here to this local service ads account. It's already set up. You'll notice the ads are paused. Um, and once you get your local service ads account verified, this is good information for you to know. You can turn on and off your ads anytime you want. So if you go on vacation, for instance, you take a week off, you can pause your ads and keep Google from sending you calls and charging up your credit card. So a uh, good place for us to start. This is your profile and budget section. The information that you submit when you're applying for a local service ads account, when you're applying to get Google guaranteed, all that information is gonna show up here. So your business name, where you're located, your phone number. If you set a budget when you were setting up your account, that would show up here. The types of jobs you wanna get calls from, like carpet cleaning, rug cleaning, upholstery cleaning, you can adjust those categories here. You can also upload photos. So one of the best practices I shared was uploading before and after photos. This is where you can do that. You can click this little pencil icon right here and you can upload before and after photos or any other pictures you have of your business. But I find that before and after photos are usually the best form of social proof that you can show to a potential customer who's looking to hire you to clean their carpets. So that's where you can upload before and after photos. You can also adjust your business hours and the service areas, the areas where you want your ads to trigger phone calls. So all of that's adjustable inside of your profile and budget tab. I'm gonna skip over some of these tabs. So billing is not real important, but just so you know, that's where you enter your credit card information, the credit card that Google's gonna charge whenever they send you phone calls, that's where you would update that. And if you're a points, if you're into credit card points, you can use a points credit card for this program. Google advertising does count as an advertising category. So if you're into business credit cards and points, uh, that's good information for you to have. If you are not responsible with your credit cards, I don't recommend doing that. <laughs> Put your debit card in there. Promotions, if you received a credit for creating a new Google Ads account, you can enter the code there and you can receive your credit. Um, but that's for new accounts only, so that may not apply to you. If you wanna add new people to your account, let's say you have somebody who works in your office and books your jobs, you could add that person to your account. Let's say you have a business partner, you could add your business partner to this account so that they can log in and see everything that's going on inside your local service ads account. Now, uh, let's skip up here to the reviews tab. If your business already has reviews, they will get populated in this reviews tab and you'll see what your star rating is and how many reviews you have and you can respond to people and all of that. If you don't have any reviews, you'll get a link inside of here that you can send to your customers and ask for a review. I'm gonna show you an even easier way to do that in just a minute here. But once you get reviews coming in, this is where they will show up. Now let's skip over to the leads tab and this is where it really starts to get interesting. All right, here we are in the leads tab and every time you get a phone call, it will show up here as a new lead inside of your leads tab in Google local service ads. You can click on these leads and you can see the status, um, whether it's active, you can see what category it was, carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, rug cleaning. And then there's a couple fields where you can actually enter customer information. And this is really important and I want you to take this seriously. When you get calls from local service ads, please take the time to go in here and enter the customer's name and their email address. And it's really important that you do this because if that customer books with you, you can mark this job as booked and tell Google that you've booked the job. And then after the job is complete, you can request a Google review from that customer and Google will send the review request to the email address that you enter right here. So if you're not collecting email address when you're on the phone with people, start collecting it. Make sure you ask customers, hey, while I'm booking you, can I get your email address so I can send you um, a receipt and more information after, after the job? Then put their email address in here and send them a review request. By the way, you can also get call recordings in here. So if you wanna listen to the calls that you've had with customers, you can listen to those recordings right here by hitting the play button. Um, and that's really useful information to have. By the way, if you're not answering your calls, if your calls are going to voicemail, uh, Google 
also can tell if you're answering your calls. So if you want to continue getting leads from the local service ads program, I highly recommend that you actually answer your phone. That's why one of the best practices I recommended was to answer every single call that comes in. Because if you're not answering the calls, there's a possibility that Google's, Google's going to just stop sending the calls to your business, right? If there's other carpet cleaners in town, Google will send the calls to people who do answer the phone. So call recordings are available in here. Be aware that Google is recording your calls. Enter in customer name, email address, and any notes that you have, um, because that information will help you track the people who book and you can move them from active leads over to this booked section, right? All the jobs that you booked will show up in here. You can enter a date and time that you're going to do that job. This one's labeled as tomorrow at 8 a.m. And once those jobs are done, they'll move to this completed tab here and you can actually ask for a review. If you have that customer's email address, you can ask for a review and it will show up in your reviews tab in local service ads. So that's how this works. Once you're done with these jobs, if you've got old jobs in here piling up, you can archive them and they will move to this archive tab. That's high level how it works inside of the local service ads account dashboard. The last thing I want to show you is the reporting section. So after you've been booking jobs for a while, uh, if you want to track how things are going, you can hop in here and you can see in the reporting tab how much you've spent, how many leads you've received, how many leads were charged, right? How much you paid per lead, how many appointments you booked. So if you're in the habit of marking appointments as either booked or not booked, then you can see your booking rate in here. And then you can see a nice little chart of the jobs that you've booked and the calls that you've received over time. At the bottom here, there's also a list of the leads that you were charged for so that you can go back and verify that you were charged for leads that you should be charged for. If you're getting spam calls through local service ads, be aware that you can dispute those calls, right? If you happen to get a call through Google local service ads and it's not a customer, it's somebody trying to sell you something or, or sell you marketing services or um, asking if you do subcontract work and trying to sell you leads, Dispute those leads. Don't don't pay for those leads through local service ads. Um, the call recordings are there. So if you have a call come in through local service ads and the call recording proves that it was not an actual customer, you can flag those leads and dispute them and try to get a credit back from Google. And a lot of times Google will actually give you a refund on leads that Google agrees with you on and says, yeah, you're right. This wasn't a serious customer. So. For that reason, it's really important that you stay in your local service ads account if you're going to be running these ads, mark up the leads, add their names, add their phone numbers, add the date and time that you're going to do the job, request reviews, post before and after pictures, you know, take the time to, to really put the effort into this, this program. Because if you do, you can book a lot of jobs. You'll have the evidence right here in front of you to show you that, you know, you spent, let's say $27, you booked this job and you made $300 from that job. So that's how local service ads works. That's how the dashboard works. And if you're trying to get the best results possible, that's how I recommend that you work the local service ads dashboard. So I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, please drop a like on this video. And as always, I wanna leave you a free gift just for watching this video. I'm gonna give you a copy of the Carpet Cleaning Marketing Cheat Sheet. This cheat sheet's already helped over 200 carpet cleaners grow their business so far this year. And I wanna make sure that you're one of the next ones to do it. So head on over to bookcleaningjobs.com slash cheat sheet to get your free copy of the Carpet Cleaning Marketing Cheat Sheet. And once again, I'm Ruben with bookcleaningjobs.com. I hope that this local service ads masterclass series has helped you. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments section. I do try to get back to everybody. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.